Florida State last year, 12-3 and three losses to Clemson, Georgia Tech, and of course the embarrassing loss to Houston in their bowl game. Heading into the year, you had them at number six, which plays out on our bowl projections to be an Orange Bowl appearance versus Michigan. So we kind of have an idea where you see Florida State heading in this year, but I'll, I'll let you expound on that. Well, I mean, I have them just outside the, the, the college football playoff. I mean, I think this team, obviously offensively, they've turned so much talent. They have so much depth. But I think there's question marks at quarterback when we talk about situations with Sean McGuire. We always thought, or I always thought, that DeAndre Francois was going to eventually get the start at quarterback for them. But I feel like, you know, having to be thrown in now against Ole Miss, you know, a team that's uh, an up-and-coming SEC team that's beaten Alabama the last two years, you know, this is, a, this is going to be a big test for them as well. I think Dalvin Cook puts together another great year. I think really my concerns are on the defensive side of the football. I mean, I know Derwin James is a great player, but I think they have some players right now that, you know, they're going to have to kind of shift in and shift out and really work them in, and they're going to get tested early. I mean, Chad Kelly is an outstanding quarterback. I think Chad Kelly can put up a lot of big numbers against this Florida State defense. So, again, I think there's some games that's going to be a challenge. I think Clemson game is going to be a challenge. And I, I always think, too, that Louisville, a Louisville game, you know, on the road at Louisville is a game that maybe you ought to get tripped up on. So there's three right there, possibly. But listen, if they only lose one game and they somehow, if maybe it's a Clemson, there's an opportunity. Maybe there's two ACC teams get into the college football playoff. Who knows? But right now, I've got them at six. I have them going 14-1 and one and being in the playoffs. I, I talked about Florida. I, I liked this team a lot last year, this year's version. The key is going to be at quarterback. He's going to be tested early. But you don't have to worry about the wrong guy starting yeah. circa Ohio State 2015. You know, you don't have to worry about Sean McGuire there just because of yeah, his experience. But I like this Florida State team. They get Clemson. I think Florida State's going to be playing in the playoffs and, and one of the top two or three teams throughout the season. As well, it goes and I, I agree. I think there's a lot there. But I will also point this out, too, that Francois, with their quarterback depth situation, with McGuire being hurt, if Francois goes down against Ole Miss, it's J.J. Cosentino who steps up. And then after that, it's, you know, I mean, they Are really you? don't have a lot of options. So I think they got to make sure everyone stays healthy. If they stay healthy, I think they can go put together a great Say year. that about a lot well, of any teams. Well, that's true about any team. Beyond team, Alabama, but Ohio Alabama, State, but I mean, But I'm just pointing starter. out the fact that, again, you know, McGuire needs to get healthy. They need some depth there because they need to make sure. Uh, we saw what happened against Houston. So, I mean.